the next move is to go on the other side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on this side first so you can see me. Alright? And we're gonna bend knees and raise our hand. Same thing. And we're gonna shift over here. And then we're gonna sink. And we're gonna stop. And we're gonna shift forward. Alright? And then we're gonna shift back. We bring the left hand, match with the right hand. We bring it down. And we do an open close. We're doing half step. We're doing half step. Okay. And then I step back. You see how I step back? See those lines. So you see the step? I step back. So not very good. I need to step back here. Okay. So it aligns with that. So I step back with this leg at 12 o'clock. All right. So from here, I step back. I bring it down slowly and I rotate. See, this hand doesn't move. This hand doesn't move and I rotate. I rotate all the way here. When I finish here, I shift to the left and I pivot. And I pull again, I walk up, pull again. And I bring it down. And I step, I reach forward and I push forward. I bring the right hand down to match me the left hand. I bring it back slowly, sink, and we do a half step. Okay, I'm gonna do it on this side so you get to see it. And you can follow me if you want. So bend your knees and raise your hands slowly. We shift to the right and then we turn. And we sink, bring both the hands down, and we step, and we shift forward. We shift back, we bring the left hand match with the right hand, we bring it down, we do an open close, we do a half step, slowly. We step back, bring the hands down, we rotate, and we pivot, turn to pivot, and we bring both hands down, sink the body, step, and shift forward. We bring the right hand, match with the left hand, we bring it down, we do an open close, we do a half step. So, <coughs> It's not that difficult, but when you need to be aware of your body, it becomes a little bit harder. Make sure when you do your open close, make sure you don't lean forward. Some of you might do this. Keep it around your zone. So make sure you're tucking, body straight, tucking, tuck your sacral in, chin in, hollow your chest, round your back, relax your shoulder, and do an open close. Now, how do you check your open close? The open close, you use the wrist to check. Make sure your wrist level is the same as your shoulder level. For lazy men to tie the coat, we use the fingertip to check. Make sure this is around same level as your eyebrow, but not below that too much around there to make the requirement of how we center the line. Okay. So I'm going to invite Stone Henry to come up to be the model here. Uh, this is Stone Henry. He's one of the uh, instructors here, he's one of the junior instructors in the Tai Chi classes. So he's going to do the entire move from the beginning. And, uh, and then I will put some uh, uh, emphasis on what you need to be aware of. Okay. So feet apart, and you bend your knees and you raise your hands slowly. All right, stay where you are. And make sure you go down a little bit more. There you go. And then turn, shift to the right, turn. Yes. And you keep the center. As you can see, he is keeping the center, the center of the body. Okay. And then sink, bring your hands down and shift forward. And shift forward. As you can see, he matches this with that, this with that, a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more angle. He got his stance. 
you make sure your knee does not pass your toe. It should be right above your toe. If it's not above a toe, it's still okay. A little bit further away, it's okay. But if you want a stronger thigh and uh, strength, so you need to bend a little bit more, but make sure this knee doesn't pass your toe. Just remember that. And the back here is bent. The whole body is round. This whole body is round. Okay, and the chest is hollow and the chin is in. Okay, and then shift back, bring your hand back, match it. So when you do this move, bring it down. You can see this is square. This whole thing is square. And do an open close half step. So he never passed his back. Very good. And check again this and this the same low. Okay, now step to the right, shift down, rotate and pivot, and again, he is pong, bring your hands down, sink, and shift forward. As you can see, same thing. You make sure that this, and this is the same level, and this and this. Chin is in, he doesn't lean forward, so it's around his uh, area, okay? So maybe a little bit back, a little bit, yeah, yeah. So it will be around the toes. And now you shift back, you bring it back, Bring all the way down, you do an open close, you do a half step. So when he do this move, you can see that his body is on the side. So he doesn't square, it doesn't square. I call this square, it's not square, it's on the side. If your right hand is in the front and your right leg is in the front, it is on the side. On the side means sideways, it's like that. If the left hand is in the front, Right hand is in the back, then it's square. Square, square is this way. Square is this way, it's square, okay? And this is side, okay? So it's on the side. So shift back, finger touch finger, uh, sorry, feet back, and bring it down. So he's square now, because his hand is in the front, and you do an open close half step. So he's square now. So his whole body is straight, is square now, because the right leg is in the front, the right hand is also in the front. So when you do an open close, make sure this, and this is about the same level, or maybe a little bit lower. We don't use the finger anymore. The chin is in, the chest is hollow, the back is round, the butt is tucked in. And the knees, the toes, everything is pointing towards the opponent. The hip is pointing towards the opponent. The palm is pointing to the opponent. Your eyes, your nose, everything is pointing to your target. Uh, that's bullseye all the way, so that all the absolute power is going to come from the gravity through your body towards that target and that's bullseye okay that's good thank you so like i said today is a promotional day to launch my disco channel what is this disco channel all about basically i'm trying to get all my wuhao tribe all over the world to come together and train wuhao tai chi according to uh, the way I learned from my teacher, the lineage of the system, how we train the Wuhan uh, uh, in a way that can keep our body in health, in learning the martial art, and also in terms of being spirituality. So there's three things that you can accomplish in Wuhan Tai Chi. It's a healing art, it's a spiritual art, and it's also martial arts. So I'll teach all three of them, and you can emphasize any one of them. Now, do you have to learn the whole system? No, you don't have to. Now, some of you may be a yoga teacher, some of you may be another system, but not interested in learning the whole system. That's fine. You can just learn the first form, which is 108 move. Now, the 108 move is based on the 8, 13, 24, 32, 36. You notice I'm not teaching that because I have all the videos for that. Um, it's a breakdown from the 108 move. The reason why I broke them down is for the convenience of the people to learn. So if somebody come from out of town, they walk in here, they say, hey, I only have two days here. So you learn the eight movement, all the 13 movement, depending on how, how much they can absorb in the class. If they say, I've been here for a week, they want to take some private lessons, we can do a 24 movement for them, if they have the, the ability to, to absorb, like I say, in classes. So we break it down so that for the convenience of people learning it, we're not changing the form, everything's still the same. But I kept the 108 move, which is the original of the Wuhan 108 move, and that's what I'm teaching over here. So uh, you can just learn that, and you'll be done with it. 
uh, there is a total of 46 new moves in the 108. So that means the rest of the 46 is repeated move, like brush knee is repeated many times. Uh, waving hands like cloud is repeated many times. That kind of thing. Single whip is repeated many times. So those, I won't, I won't teach you one time, I won't repeat it. So you uh, will have the 46 move through this disco channel. 46 move, we have two lessons uh, a month. We will finish it in two years, maybe even earlier. Some of the move, I mean, I may teach two moves at one time, depending on how difficult, how easy the move is. So we may finish it in two years. But I anticipated that in two years, we'll finish it two lessons a month. But I promise you three lessons, right? So what is the third lesson? The third lesson is a lecture. So like we have a class today. So maybe this weekend or next week, I'll do a lecture. Uh, I won't be doing a form like this, but I'm doing a lecture. Like any kind of questions you may have from last time we learned, uh, any question you may have, or if you don't have a question, I'm going to talk about some of the things you need to be aware of training Tai Chi. I may talk about some theory. I may talk about some applications. I may talk about things regarding health, spirituality, and martial art of Tai Chi. So, so it'll be a little bit more entertaining than following the form. Uh, something different, but all this thing will be kept in the Discord channel. So you won't miss it. Uh, if you miss this class because you're working or because you're having dinner with your, your spouse or whatsoever, it will be stored in the Discord for life. You will see it in this Discord channel. So don't worry if you miss today. Uh, whatever we have today, it will be uploaded to Discord and you will see all this. Okay? Uh, there's a membership involved. Uh, you can send us a message. Uh, it's not very expensive in my opinion. It's very convenient for people to learn it. I know some people say that, well, I don't think I can learn online. You're wrong. It can be learned because I've taught few people and they learn it. But the important thing is that you have to do your homework though. I mean, you don't go to school and don't do your homework thinking you're going to score an A in your class. That can happen unless you are Einstein, you know, you're a smart one, you know, or Bill Gates. Who, don't want to go to school or something and become very famous and make a lot of money. So uh, in Tai Chi, the key word is training, training, and training. Of course, proper training. So it's very, very important that when you finish this class, you train. And it's on Discord. It's on your phone. So wherever you go, you can turn it on or look at it anytime. I noticed that uh, there's some members been watching quite a bit. And I'm very happy they're looking at my stuff. Uh, there's about two or three people. Almost every day I can see the name on it. They're watching it, which is good. So that means they like the stuff, they're watching it, and uh, they're involved with it. Otherwise, why would they spend the time? It's like you're playing video game. You're on it all the time. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we'll have a next session. We'll announce it, but it will be a lecture uh, or any kind of questions you may ask. Thank you. Appreciate it.